Today's wet and web design, taking a design from sketch to web flow. Let's jump into it. All right, so now we're in Sketch, and what we're going to do is make sure all of our images are exportable. And as you may know, there's a feature within Sketch that allows you to export all of your images just with a simple click. So first, I'm going to make sure that all my images are exportable. I've already done that. As you can see, this image here is PNG and so on. So I have this logo here is SVG. But what's great is I have this plugin called Sketch Measure that Whenever I export, it not only creates an asset folder, but also creates a file that allows me to see all the measurements within my website design. But first, let's set up the settings. And I want to show you this. So within my sketch measure settings, I have the scale set up to 14, and I have my unit set up to VW or viewport width. I like to use viewport width because it allows me to use the font sizes in a, in a manner that allows them to be quite uh, adaptable and responsive. So now let's export this site. So we go to Sketch Major Plugin and then Spec Export. What's awesome about this is this is amazing to use if you have to do a handoff. Uh, it allows the developer to know your exact measurements, know where things are exactly locate, located, and you can just hand them uh, over a zip file of everything that you have. So we'll export this site. And this is what that file looks like. As you can see, there's measurements on each element. So here on the text element, you can see that there's the size, font family, color, uh, even the position as well as its relation to other elements. This again is amazing if you have a handoff, but it's even better if you're going to build the site yourself and want to know the exact dimensions when you build your Webflow site. I've already designed this Webflow site and let's check it out and see how it looks. As you can see here in our Webflow site, I was able to add all the assets and as well as the text and make sure that the website looked exactly like the sketch design. And all I had to do was take my assets bring them and add them in here and you can see that this asset folder was created straight from the sketch measure plugin and then I use all the units and measurements within the site in order to create this design now this design will be available for you freely and you can find it in the description below I would love to see what you do with this change it up completely add interactions feel free and have fun This process is extremely helpful whenever you want to take your design from sketch to webflow and really bring it to life and present it to your clients. You'll find in the description below the preview link as well as the live site link. Looking at these will give you a better understanding of how this site was created. Feel free to leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. See y'all next week.